Hey you guys, it's been a while, so I figured I'll sit here and shoot a YouTube video since I have nothing to do during this Corona virus pandemic. Okay, so I'm on a new contract. I'm a traveling CNA, so that's really why I haven't been on YouTube making, you know, up-to-date videos or whatnot. So I do apologize to my subscribers for that. I'm definitely going to get back on it. I got some new things coming for y'all that I want to add to my channel. But I wanted to share with you all my experience on my new contract here in Lincoln, Nebraska. And the name of the company is called Tabitha. And I thought everybody should know that. Okay. Well... On this new contract in Nebraska, let me first by starting off by telling you guys how my first day went. Um, when I went in on my first day, of course, my name is Jamie Thompson, right? So I don't look like the type of person whose name is Jamie Thompson. Well, I interviewed over the phone. She didn't know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say she didn't know what my race was because when I went in for my first day of work. She told me that they weren't doing interviews today. And I was like, no, ma'am, I'm not here for an interview. I'm actually here to work. And she was like, oh, yeah, let me call Heather. Because I don't think she's doing um, interviews today. So she called Heather. And she was like, Heather, it's a girl here that's um, here to interview. But I told her we weren't doing interviews today. And I was like, ma'am, I'm not here to interview. I'm here to work. I'm a, I'm, I'm a traveler. My name's Jamie Thompson. Well, before I can even tell her my name is Jamie Thompson, um, she told Heather on the phone, well, I'm still waiting on Jamie Thompson to get here. That was the first red flag, okay? I didn't say anything. I went on in and started working. And the first night was okay. Um, I thought until I actually thought about it. And they had a traveler training me, which it was his second day at this facility. So the next day when we came in for work, they wanted to fuss at us about things that were not done. Now, mind you, the traveler is, is the same skin complexion as me, okay? So they wanted to fuss about a man who was left on the toilet for 45 minutes, which that was a lie. I let the girl know that was relieving me that he was on the toilet. And he said he needed a minute. So that was the first lie. The second thing was... When I when she when I came in the facility the second day and she checked my temperature and it was good, I went to place my mask on my face. She stopped me in the middle of placing my mask on my face and she told me that she cannot allow me to wear that in here. And I and I and I was like, oh no! I said I gotta wear my mask. I was like, I said I'm scared. She was like. Well, that's the thing. I don't want you scaring the residents. They don't know what's going on, and I don't want you scaring them. I said, um, well, from what I've read on CDC guidelines today, um, you guys are supposed to protect your health care workers, and we're required to wear the proper PPE, which is a gown, mask, and gloves, especially with the type of work that we're doing. And I was very... I was very calm about it, and I just explained to her, you know, my expression on how I felt about the coronavirus, and she she instantly went off, and she told me that she did not care, that we're not going to use any mask or any of that. The only thing that we're going to do is keep our hands washed and use sanitizer, because the last thing she is going to do is run out of the equipment when she needs it. So I explained to her that I that I read on the CDC guidelines that symptomatic or non-symptomatic, the coronavirus is still transmissible, meaning you can still spread the disease without showing any symptoms. She got so mad with me. Like, she just went off after that. She told me that she don't care again. And she has facilities calling all over the United States asking her how is she getting her equipment and can they borrow some. So they're not going to use um, their PPE until it's really needed. So I didn't say anything. Of course, my facial expression changed, but I didn't say a word. 
I went in the bathroom and I text my recruiter and I let him know that he needed to call me. Well, when he called me, I felt my phone vibrating in my pocket. So I stepped back in the restroom and I answered the phone and I let him know everything that was going on. He told me that they was going to try to terminate my contract. Well, while I was in there on the phone with him, I was told by my um, co-worker that the, the male nurse was standing outside listening to our conversation, which his name is Jack. So I knew it was going to be something, you guys, which I just felt like this was so funny because... The day before for my first, the first day on my assignment, I seen two nurses with, with the mask on that were Caucasian and it was not a problem. It was not a problem. So anyways, at the end of my shift, um, the nurse come to me and said, Oh, Heather said you could put down these two residents and leave. And I'm like, leave? She was like, yeah, you go home and call your recruiter in the morning. I told her instantly, no, ma'am, we're not even finna play these games. If y'all gonna fire me, then I can leave right now. And then I was like, um, she was like, what you mean? I said exactly what I just said. You tell Heather that we're not finna do these little shenanigans. I said, cause I, I said, you know what? Matter of fact, give me Heather number. Cause I'm trying to see what the problem is. Why is it so bad that I asked to wear a mask? Because apparently y'all upset because I called my recruiter. Because the nurse did say something, something to me about speaking on the phone with my recruiter, talking about during his busy hours. And I explained to him, nobody has gave me orientation. Nobody has did anything. So I don't even know what your busy hours are, but I won't, it won't happen again. So long story short. They terminated my contract because they were upset that I called my recruiter and let my recruiter know what was going on in their facility and how she told me I couldn't wear a mask. My recruiter told me instantly that was some BS, that they're not supposed to deny me anything. And even OSHA guidelines state if an employee does not feel safe in their environment, they do not have to work there. So Tabitha... I want to know why you guys denied me my PPE. You let the two white, or should I say Caucasian nurses, wear their masks. But when I, someone of color, went to put my mask on, it was a problem. And then you terminated my contract for no reason. You had no reason to terminate my contract. So, this is what's going on out there in the healthcare world. And... From what I was reading in the CNA group I'm in on Facebook, this is not the only facility that doing that are, um that's doing this. So not even just my skin color. I have a question of is it just because I'm a CNA that I don't deserve the proper PPE that everybody else is wearing? But just because I'm a CNA? Because from what I was reading in the group, I'm not the only CNA that's being treated like this. And it, does that mean I'm the I'm the last on the totem pole? I, I want to know what the problem is. So anyways, you guys, my contract was terminated. And I just find that so funny because I will. This this is not the end of this. This will be it will be further actions taken upon this because you're not just going to treat me like this. You had no reason to terminate my contract, but it's OK because I got a new contract. And I will begin crisis pay. And the facility that I'm going to is ran the proper PPE. So thank you. I appreciate that blessing. But like I said, this is not the end of that, Tabitha. Yeah, Tabitha in Lincoln, Nebraska. And um, I think the name of this house in particular was called the Seagreen House. They got different type of houses or whatnot. But I'm definitely going to reach out to who's, whoever is over Heather and Felicia. Cause, you, um, you both, both of you guys, uh, told me that I couldn't wear my mask and y'all are the DON and the ADON. So I will be speaking with whoever is over Tabitha about this matter. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get me a lawyer. Cause this is not the end of that. No, you're not going to treat me like this. So anyways, I'm going to be sure to upload this video on YouTube and I'm going to also upload it on my Facebook. Um, I would appreciate you if you guys share it, 
because this is not right that healthcare workers are being treated like this and we're denied the, the uh, proper PPE when we're getting out here and putting our families at risk. We got to come home to our families every day to take care of to take care of other people. So that's not right. So anyways, you guys have a great day. And I promise you, I promise you I'm going to get to the bottom of this.